in this video, we're going to work with um, graphics and how they kind of uh, are used in a word processor. To insert a graphic into our document, we're going to click on our insert panel up here at the top. And we have a couple of options here for objects that are treated as graphics. And those options are pictures, clip art, and then shapes that you can draw yourself. We're going to start with clip art. And so I'm going to click my clip art button here. And it's going to bring up a sidebar here. And what you're going to first do is we're going to type in a search item here. I'm going to type in fruit. And I'm going to hit go. And after you hit your search button, it's going to bring up any um, clip art that it finds. Now, depending on how it was installed on your machine, you may or may not get uh, more options than you see here. Um, I'm going to try a different one here. So when you find a piece of clip art that you like, you're going to click on that. And it inserts the clip art in your document here. Now, at this point, notice it has handles around each um, area around the clip art. To, to resize, what I'm going to do is click and drag, and I can resize the clip art to any shape that I want here. Now, one option here that we have is text wrapping. And we're going to hit the text wrap button, and we're going to choose tight. Now, notice with tight how the text flows around the clip art, even in the shape of the clip art. That is versus square, and notice how square kind of puts it here. It really just depends on the piece of clip art and what you're working with. But to resize and move, you just click and drag the clip art where you would like it to go, and then you just choose the um, particular type of uh, wrapping that you would like to have on there. And so that's totally up to you, and it's really a what looks best situation. Um, the other type of graphic we can work with is a picture. So we're going to click on insert again and picture. And I'm just going to go into my sample photographs in Windows here. And I'm going to pick one that I like, even though it doesn't pertain to my um, document here. Now with this graphic, one thing that I didn't show you with the clip art, because it really did, doesn't work well, is our picture styles. And what this is, is notice that it's preview on the fly, so behind the scenes I can choose these. And notice how it changes my photograph. And it kind of puts some three-dimensional effects on what you're working with. And so you may find one that works best with your graphic. Um, this is kind of a trial and error. Not all pictures work well with this. But when you find one you like, you can use that. Some other options are to take a picture and force it into a shape. And so I can click on my shape button up here. And maybe I want my picture to be an arrow. I can choose that. And now notice that it forces the graphic into the shape of an arrow. Um, I can then resize just like we did with clip art. It works the same way. So I can bring down the shape of my graphic however I want. Um, just like before, I can click and drag, and I can put my text wrap on my object there, just like before. And I can kind of go through and place all of these odd um, settings on this particular photograph here. I can also go into picture effects. Notice that I can add shadowing to my photograph. I can do reflection, glow. You have a lot of different um, options where you can change how your graphic looks. And so this is really something that the best way to learn is to just play with and see what you can do with it. Um, one other thing I want to show you is if you have a picture and you have done a lot of different things to it and you really want to just bring it back to the beginning, you can click on this reset picture button here. And when you do that, it's going to take your picture and force it back to um, the way it looked in the beginning. Oh, there it is. And so then you can start from scratch there. One other picture tool I want to show you is crop. Unless it is only one portion of the photograph you want, you click your crop button 
And then you've got these little handles here. And you can come in and you can resize the area around your picture. So I can come in and I can choose each of the handles you see here. And I can then only get the portion of the photograph that I want. And so now I have taken out the areas that I do not need in my photograph here. And for some reason my computer has decided to run slow when rendering this photograph here. So we're going to start this. There it is. Okay. And so now I have my photograph here as well. And so you can resize and do any objects that you want there. Um, the third way to insert a graphic is to go to insert a shape. And what this is allows you to draw these shapes that you see here. So maybe I want to draw a star. I can come in and choose one of the stars here that matches what I need. And then with my mouse, I can click and drag. And it gives me my shape. I can then come up here in my styles and choose a style that I like. And I can then work with my colors. I can change the color of the fill if I wanted to. Um, and you can play with these settings just like before. The best thing to do is just play with those. Um, I can come in and add a drop shadow. And I could add some 3D effects if I wanted to as well. Um, it just decides what looks best with your graphic. Um, once again, we can go to text wrap and we can choose that. And then you can resize your clip, your shape to whatever size you need and you can move it wherever you want it to go.